Yes, sir. Uh, it's grind time, y'all. Come on, there we go. All right, man, it's grind time. We back at it. Uh, today's objective is to start, well, continue to strip the Tahoe, and it's time to continue to sand. So uh, we're going to do a little bit of both today until my cousins get here. Uh, yeah, man, if it was two of me, I'd be on this and I'd be on that. Um, so, yeah, this, this one back here is going to have to probably just gonna have to sit for a day or two before we can jump on it but that's why i'm trying to get back that's why i'm trying to jump on this mustang and have it finished this is the closest thing to getting out of here so we gotta try and get that finished but um knock that one out so that we don't jeopardize uh we'll make sure that we uh, get it out in a timely manner but not jeopardize the quality so that's that's the main thing so uh right now oh yeah i did go to paint store to grab a few few things that I needed. Um, got some sandpaper over here. Oh, did he? Okay, we got some compound. All right, get organized, line this up. Uh, okay, we got some wet, got some wet 2000 grit. Wish they had the 3M, but we got the 3M uh, 3000. And then had to get some sandpaper because I know I'll be sanding on something with some 320 grit. Uh, where we at? Oh, got a whole stack of it over here. What's that? 320, 320, 320. It's all 320. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so, so yeah, man. We're gonna uh we're gonna try and get as much as we can. I just just got to the shop. I just got off. I came straight to the shop, really. So um I don't wanna be here all night. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna do as much as we can, like I said. With both vehicles, uh, both vehicles. Where's the four hundred? I know I has. Ah, oh, there we go. Uh, with both vehicles, so that's the that's the main thing is to just try and stay consistent. So I'm gonna have to. I know I got some oh, eighty grit. Yeah, my bad. Y'all get to see a little behind the scenes. So we're gonna take this over here. We're gonna take this over here. Damn, where all my wet sandpaper go? I must have must have been skating through it. So, um, but yeah, yeah. So. We're gonna jump on that the Mustang first so that uh I would like it I would like to try to get it out of here um within the next two days. Just cause it is it's for, it's it's simple. What I mean that's the thing, it ain't really simple, but it is. It but it's time consuming at the same time. It's it's more of some it's okay, it's all right, whatever. I'm buffing buffing is it gets complicated. It can it can get complicated. My bad, I, I couldn't figure out exactly how to say that because it's simple, but it's not. All right. Boom, boom, boom. My bad, y'all get to see the, y'all get to see what we, what I normally have to do. Receipts. Gotta put the, ah, oh, let's take this back. Get to see the behind the scenes. You know what I mean? Oh, there we go. Yeah, man. So, um, still trying to get the hang of this business. Still trying to get the hang of everything going on when it comes to the shop. Uh, still trying to manage um, myself and and remember that you know I still have a life outside of what we got going on here. But at the same time, still trying to give it my all and stay consistent. You know what I mean? You know what it is? Got the filing cabinet. Put the receipts in. Uh, this is, no. So, all right, let's get to it. Like I said, we're going to pick up where we left off yesterday. Got to cut the tank on. Mm. Ooh, ooh. We're going to pick up where we left off yesterday on a Mustang. So, everything is on. Now, you can do it wet. You can do, uh, you can do, uh, you need to do a wet or dry. A lot of people do wet sanding. That's why it's called wet sanding. But for some reason, I like it. I like it. Uh, I like to sand with it dry because I can actually see if I'm cutting. I can feel if I'm cutting. Um, 
Now, when you do a wet, it's just it's just a lot smoother uh, as far as just while you're going through the motion, cutting through the motion, it prevents you from burning through it when you're cutting it uh, using the wet sandpaper while it's wet. So right now, dang, I wonder if we can back. I do not feel like moving any of these cars. I don't. That's the thing. I think I'm I'm honestly it's in it's in the air. Like I just started my job but at the same time. I've been there for a few months and I'm getting to the point where I'm like already like, damn, like, I don't know if I'm a uh, continue with having my job for too long just because I'm not able to get as much as I can done. Oh, unfortunately, back this up. I don't wanna, don't wanna, uh. Are we good? Am I good? Am I good? Can y'all see? All right. Like, boom! Hit the back door, like, hell yeah, I'm good. Ah, yeah, damn. Oh, man, I still had at least two feet. Damn. No, it's alright. Back this, this Tahoe up, though. Oh, sheesh! But yeah, it's. I think it's just my energy level. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Let's get it. There we go. It's just my energy level, man. Um, distributing my time is like, sheesh. I'll be drained. I'll be drained. The last thing I want to do is get here and half-ass anything. So, back this bad boy up. So we can have a little bit more room to work with over there. Oh, I'm about to just, I'm about to put it in reverse. Now, y'all get an idea of how, how my day is. Like, it already took seven minutes. We just walked in. I walked in when y'all seen me walk in. Uh, but y'all see kind of how my day, kind of, my, my day starts off. But let's go ahead and pop this in neutral. I ain't even about to start this. The disrespect. Come on, now. All right. See if I can one hand this. Let's make sure everything out the way. But yeah, man, tell me, owning a paint body shop or just being in the being in the routine of owning a paint body shop is uh is yeah it's it's a lot to it. It can be a lot to it. Let's try and move this forward. Mm, all right, there we go. Give us a little room to work with. All right, there we go. So I got a 2000 grit. I hit this with uh, 15. I think it was 15. Yeah, I hit it with 15. Now I'm gonna chase this side with some 2000 grit. Uh, like I said, you you can do it wet, you can do it dry. Sometimes I do both. I just kind of just go based off my mood. So yeah, 2000 grit, let's get it.
All right, man, we at the hand sanding part now. When it comes to the hand sanding, uh, well, color sanding, I normally uh, would apply the water, use the soap and water. But when I use the DA, I just kind of buzz through it. And then I'll uh, block everywhere that I can't get to, like these edges right here. I don't take the DA to it. Certain edges, um, like these edges right here, I normally get that by hand. Just do a light scuff with the 2000 grit, and then we'll be good. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna buff this bad boy. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna finish it. I just hit it with the 2000. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and hand sand all my areas all the way around the car, and then what I'll do after that is DA with the soft pad with the 3000 grit, wherever it is. It's a soft pad. I know for a fact I grabbed it over here. So we getting somewhere, man. We almost we almost to the compound. Uh, this is a soft pad. Bought a new one though. So what we'll do is walk this car. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do the 2000 on this side. Finish up on the 2000 with the hand sand. And I think I did go ahead and hand sand this side. I think I did. Uh, no, I didn't. Uh, so I'm gonna walk this car with the 2000 grit hand sand, and then we'll 3000 DA the whole thing. Uh, and then we will wipe this bad boy down and start buffing on it. So, uh, y'all stay tuned, man. We getting somewhere only about 15 minutes in, 20 minutes in. So, uh, looking good on time. Fiance hit me up like, I'm cooking dinner. Be prepared. I'm like, all right, bet. I'll be there shortly. Let me know when that fool ready. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna, um, try and get this done. I'm gonna try and get it ready to buff, buff before she calls me. So. And it'd be lunch break. Then I'll come back. Then I'll uh, jump on this. Get my mind away from this for a second. Jump on this. Break this bad boy down some more. Start taking some stuff down. And then probably on my last hour, hour and a half. I'll probably buff this tonight, depending on how I'm feeling. Once it's buffed, shoot. It's practically ready for pickup. So that's the only thing I got to do right now. So let's get it. All right. As y'all can see, she looking smooth now. Um, This is what's three. Th well, this one was 3000 grit this process right here is super duper smooth i like it um some people go up to 5000 uh i think 3000 is fairly enough um it only gonna get it's just gonna get smoother um after 3000 grit so what we did was we shaved down the clear coat we shaved it down with 1500 grit 2000 and then 3000 um the the grit kind of varies on how rough it is as far as the texture like if you got a ton of trash you might even need to start off with a thousand um I've, i think i've heard people start off with eight eight is like pushing it meaning like you can burn through the clear coat with eight the smaller the number the rougher it is i mean you can still see the reflection off the down off the down three thousand grit so once we buff it it'll 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 bring that shine so uh like i said the, sh the smaller the number, the rougher it is. So 36 grit is really is like concrete. It's like scraping your knuckle against concrete. That's how 36 grit is. And then if you go 1,000 all the way to 5,000, smoother than paper. So, um, yeah, so this one it had hardly, I mean, it had trash in there, but it, I didn't need to go anything less than uh, 1,500 grit. It was just like mainly hair particles and um, soft, soft stuff that could easily be sanded out which it was. Um, so we hit it with the 15, like I said, and then we went to two, and then we, now we ended it with three. And now we are going to take some compound to it and uh, and start buffing this bad boy. So let's get it. All right, so uh, bad news. So I don't have any uh, compound, so uh, we are gonna hop on this truck. So me and my cousin, we just hopping on this truck, took off the door handle so far. Um, I got this back piece so far. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Look, I got sidetracked. Let me see. Hold on. Yeah, an idea of what it was supposed to look like. Um, so I hit this area with just this is just polish, it's still blurry. Um, this is nothing. This is damn near what it used to look like. So this ain't nothing. It's still got like scratches and whatnot. So, like I said, that that's only polish. I don't have the compound, I swear. I had compound, but I don't have any compound. <laughs> so now I gotta wait till tomorrow. It be it be shit like that. So unfortunately, I gotta wait till tomorrow because I could have I could have had it done. So the good news is, um, the the wet the color sanding is done. 
we just have to buff it. The buff it, the buffing it part is it's not it's not easy, but it's not hard. This is the compound that I thought I hit. It's empty. Yeah. And then these are polish, polish. And I don't really use Meguiar's like that. Oh shit! I got a full thing of bed line over here. Look at that. Anyway, so um, yeah. Unfortunately, like I said, that's kind of irritating. My mood is down because I was just trying to knock this out um, so that I could have it sent by tomorrow. Uh, but yeah, unfortunately, I don't have any compound. So got to get some compound tomorrow. Uh, I'm not even trying to force the night because my mood is down. So um, like I said, so we'll compound. The only thing we have to do is compound it and then we'll use the polish and then we'll do the third step, which is the finish. Um yeah, man. Other than that, I think it'll, I think it'll really, really pop once we, once we get this bad boy buffed. I'm kind of worried, kind of, cause it, I don't know if them the comp. It's got like some pigtails and some swirls to it. Like I don't know if that's cause I don't know. I don't know if it's cause it's something in there, in the pad. But I'm gonna make sure we. I can't afford no pads now. Them, them things are expensive. Uh, the right pads at least so hopefully when we when we use the compound um it doesn't leave any swirls so that's that's the scariest part is chasing the swirls in it um that's why i don't buff i don't like buffing i don't i i told myself i wasn't gonna buff but in this situation we don't have a buffer to buff this car so i have to buff it so <laughs> i pray everything goes smooth and goes well so he can pick this car up Hope I don't face anything, any challenges that I, um, you know, have trouble. I don't want to face anything I can't handle. So right now, kind of biting, biting my lip on this one just because that kind of got me worried. But we're going to compound it. We won't know until we use the compound. We'll compound the whole thing and then we'll take a look at it. So that being said, we're in this project right here, we'll go ahead and start stripping this bad boy down some more. Um, let's go ahead and... Get these stands ready so that we can lay some lay some parts on here. Smooth this out the way. Man, roof rack, man. Yeah, my bad, y'all. Man, my my mood kind of down, man. I thought I was gonna have a project done, so uh, yeah, man. Y'all sit tight.
I'm going to turn from a Tahoe to a chubby-ass trailblazer real quick. Nah, man, um, by myself, so I'm trying to... Oh, wait, let's not lift that up because I think the glass going to come out of it. Uh, yeah, the glass should. Glass should come up after that now. Uh, yeah, let's go back. Oh no, it's uh, that's what it is. These brackets are connected to the glass. I wonder why they did that. Oh, okay, cause they didn't want no screws going through the glass. That makes sense. All right, so these down here are gonna have to come off. Ah. All right. Dang. So they bolted in two different spots. So, dang, we're gonna have to go. There's two screws that's, that's coming straight, straight in, and then two screws coming straight up from underneath. Ah. Good news is I can fill them both. Uh, yeah. So, let's go ahead and do this. Bow. Let's see what size these are. Found it. Got a 13 millimeter socket. We're gonna try and get that bad boy out of there. So, we're we'll gonna do these top ones first, I think. Uh, I think. I don't know. There's a whole thing. Cause I'm by myself, so I gotta make sure. I gotta do it to where it won't fall. Uh, so let's just do one at a time. Well, let's do. Two on each, one on each side. Ah, oh, well, hold on. Oh, never mind. Uh, trying to think, trying to think. Let me think, y'all. I think if we, I think if we did this, I was just trying to get the glass off, but it looks like this bracket, this bracket holds, um, it holds the hatch and the glass at the same time. So, I think, yeah, 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 yeah. But I need both. I need them. Well, let's just do this. All right. Whatever. We could just take just the bracket off. So, you see why sometimes it takes so long to do certain jobs? It's because jobs that I don't know, that I haven't done before, it, it takes a second to figure it out. You don't want to rush it. But 
take both these off. And my head hurt from holding this damn glass up. All right, that's enough for tonight. I got super fucking irritated. Threw my camera, what you call it, but I'm all right. Because, boy, I've been fighting this for, like, an hour. It's not that I don't know how to do it. It's just I got to stick my hand in here, and I got to unplug this, and then I got to plug it back in there, and then I got to... Yeah, it just it's just a bunch of bullshit. So, right now, I'm dealing with... Uh, so, I got, the, I got the four screws off. This is ready to come up. The hatch is ready to come off. But now, um, it's electric and i i need power to to release it cuz i closed it so it will hold it but I, I didn't even fully even think about or i mean i figured it'd be a, a release latch in here so that if you if it's off if if there's no power is a lever you can pull just like all trunks normally do you pull the latch and it releases but there's no power and there's no release latch so i had to literally plug it back up and now it's not now it's not even coming on. So now it's not even there's no power. So uh, I think it's this that I have to plug in as well, but it's it's just a rubber tube. I'm like, I don't even know how does that have to be plugged in? But right now I'm just I'm I'm kinda over it because I've been on this for an hour and it's past nine o'clock, past what time I wanted to be here. But the good news is we got something done. So, I mean, this latch is literally ready to come off. It's just, I have to get this unlatched. There's no key part. There's no nothing around it. There's nothing back here to pull. So, I literally had to just, and it took me freaking 20 minutes trying to get all of this unhooked because I don't want to have to pull of this off, pull all of that off just to get to this. But I, I unhooked, I managed to unhook it while this was right here. Got it all unhooked and was like, finally. Get to take the hatch off. And now I can't even take the hatch off. I had to shove the wires back up under here. Uh, had to shove the wires back in that hole. Wherever it's at. Feed all the wires through. Connect it. And now it won't even come on. Now I won't even pop. So I got to. Yeah. I'll jump on this tomorrow. Um, This is why. This is why I don't like working when I'm tired because I get easily irritated, aggravated, frustrated, all that shit. But we got the door handles off. We got the emblems off. Uh, I was trying to get the hatch off. Let's go ahead and close these doors. Um, yeah, so kind of that kind of irritates my spirit. Make sure these doors are unlocked. All right, so yeah, um, we'll pick back up on it tomorrow. So yeah, it's pretty late. Buffing, I gotta get some compound, and then this, uh, we'll fight that tomorrow on why it's not 
trying to release. So, yeah, simple stuff like that. Let me get some water. I'm freaking tired. I'm exhausted. I'm tired. I got to get up in the morning. I got to go to work. I go to work and then knock this out. Then I'll be working probably just a little bit on the weekends. I don't work Sunday. So, yeah, man, y'all stay tuned, man. I will cut y'all back on tomorrow, man. Let's get it.